Uh, let's go for a new episode. I don't. Uh, I'm gonna load the game. I don't know where I am gonna respawn since that seems to be like some sort of lottery. So uh, let's go and uh, let's find out. Only one way to find out. Why does it? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Where am I gonna respawn? Hopefully in the asylum playrooms, but probably in the. Um, in the path of shadow, uh, in front of the dead side marrow gates. It's taking a bit of time. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. I was really afraid I would have to uh, go all the way again because I did not have the teddy bear uh, thing, but apparently it's fine, so... Uh, Let's open this. Probably an asshole behind, so I should equip my weapons. They are equipped already, okay. Um, so, uh, let, let's go. No, there's nobody. Oh, I see where I am. Okay. That's the. I don't know if you remember, but that's the door in front of the other side of the train from a precedent episode, so I'm gonna um, equip the Enginer's key. Let's, um... Uh, ah, you gotta be really in front of the thing. Come on! What the hell? Yeah, okay. So remember last, last time when I thought that the thing should be moving? They actually do move. So, uh... Actually, I'm not sure what I should do now. Should I go back? Or should I move forward? Um, well, I should probably go back. But I'm not sure. It depends what's behind this. What What is be... Um, oh, is that a dead end? Is... That's weird, but apparently there, there is nothing here, so... Uh, so let's... Um, I, I like that they listen to, the, listen to the sound. The machines are just some shitty texture, uh, it's just a, a clump of pixels, but they did... Uh, they did put sound effects on him. And the sound effects sound really good. The really, really, I, I said it already, but I'm saying it again. The work on the sound on this game, whether it is, it is the, um, the voices or the sound effects or the music, it's all really, really good. It's one of the really the highlights of this game. And I, I, I'm someone who really... Um, is uh, I would say an auditive person, some person like our visual and their primary organ or their eyes. Some people are tactile and they are, use their skin, you know. And um, I would say my my main sense that I use uh, is the the ears, the hearing. So uh, the game having really good music and and really good. Uh, sound effects and all that is really really important for me and that's one of the reasons I, I think it's uh, one of the best games of all time it's a uh, really great soundscape I think soundscape is a is a valid word to use and uh, I hope it's the right direction because I have no sense of direction uh, I hope I'm going in the right uh, tunnel yeah it's Probably good. No, it's wrong. It's the wrong one. Oh, damn. I hope it. Oh, I'm starting to get eaten by the carnivorous fish. I don't remember what, what they are called, but I think they are just called dead fish. 
So um, let me look. I just need to check something. Okay. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, this probably hurts, but it's really slow, so it's fine. It's like some really weak ass platforming. Well, as I said a bunch of times already, it's a really easy game. Oh! After the man pigs, here are some, some man dogs. Ah, I had totally forgotten about these enemies. Like, 100% forgotten. And you can hear the playroom's music starting. I, I love this music. It's really well made. I mean, like every other track in the soundtrack. I'm gonna shut up to let you uh, appreciate it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> oh, that's not fair. They, they can. Um. Can I aim? Oh, I'm gonna get so killed. Wow. Wow, that's shitty. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Oh, I gotta go fast, I guess. Oh no, I don't restart. Oh, it's fine. Because the hatch is opened, and I just gotta swim through the, the whole thing. And I'm going to be right at the at, at the right um, place. But how? I don't know how I'm going to do it. Uh, I think there's probably a trick. I am. I'm thinking. I wish you could swim a bit faster, but. Uh, that's it, really. Yeah, I know. Oh, There's another, or maybe I just gotta go fast. Maybe there's another hole. Evidently not. There's only one way. I gotta, I gotta go fast and do it in one. Uh... Oh. Oh, why did I jump backwards like that? It's ridiculous. What? Why Why do I jump backwards? What the hell? Oh, great. What the fuck? Okay. So I made it out of the water, out, out of the water, but oh damn! Okay, okay. Let's just fucking do it again. Man, that's <clears throat> so evidently I gotta go out of the. I, I, I keep saying water, but it's blood. There's no water in that side. Or maybe it, it's clear. But it's it's red. It's not red by accident. Maybe it's a mix of water and blood. Because if it was actually blood, you, you could not see through it. It would not be transparent like that. I mean, it's supposed to be blood. That I'm sure of.
we're supposed to be swimming in blood. And most of the things in um, Dead Side are organic. Even these bridges uh, in the Paths of Shadow are made of skin. And um, that's why the, the asylum is so weird here. It clashes with the uh, organic aesthetic of Dead Side, so I'm gonna. Oh! Right. So. That was. Okay, can I shoot them from here? I'm gonna try. Well, I can. I cannot see them. How do I? Um... I'm gonna let myself float slowly, and as soon as I see them, they should be around here. That's really lame strategy but it's worth a shot pun intended I, I cannot even see them where, where are they oh they're behind me got one Got two. Next one, uh, there's only gonna be one. It should be much easier to deal with. Still, I uh, probably some really more obvious way to do this. I'm obviously doing it wrong. Anyway. does not really matter since I'm almost done by now oh come on fucking fish oh really damn it I'm not gonna play a lot today. This is gonna be a short episode, I, I think. But, anyway. Let's, um. Let's have fun. We're in the playrooms, after all. The Asylum Playrooms. That was pretty fast. Since I'm not handicapped by being in fucking water. Okay, so... Several possibilities. Uh, well, first I should uh, take the health. That I can either jump and go down there, or uh, oh, there are stairs, kinda. Okay, so I there's two possibilities, and this door is probably where I'm supposed to go. So, uh, don't tell me there's nothing here. No, there's not another door. Which can... Oh, a surgeon. Can, can they... So I cannot touch them and they cannot touch me. Uh, all this for one Kado. And maybe a, a, a bit of foreshadowing. Maybe that's the point. That's... Whoa! 
Do you see all these govies? All these dark souls pumping inside? And all these surgeons too. I really like the design of the surgeons. They're probably my favorite um, uh, villain. A enemy. Foe. Whatever. Probably my favorite bad guy. Okay, so I didn't need the magic, but there's an open door again. And nobody behind. Oh! There's a bridge. That's weird. I'm getting really lost here. Got his shield. Uh, destroy the bastard. Oh, this is bigger than I remembered. Hey, first man pig. Oh, the man pigs are really easy to beat. Uh, man pigs, the man dogs. I completely forgot about this enemy and I completely forgot how uh, they are called, so I'm just gonna call them dog men. Maybe that's what they are called. Man, yeah, they're really easy to beat. Ah, that's weird. We are... Um, actually, I think we're approaching the, the... The end of the game. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're closer to the end than we are to the beginning. Maybe we're right in the middle. Oh, there's a big door with a pentagram on it. Looks like we're in Quake. Or Hexen. Is this a Cathedral of Pain? No, it's not. Or maybe it is. That's okay. Is there a symbol of legion on the wall? Hey, now that could be useful. That's a retractor. Okay. That is my first retractor. I should probably already have one. It should be my second. I think I missed one earlier. Um, but it's it's fine. I can go back to find it. It was probably in the cageways. Or maybe I'll, I'll... No, maybe this is supposed to be my first retractor. Uh, you're supposed to use the retractors to open the schisms that go to the lairs of the five serial killers in Life Side. Um, it's completely fuzzy in my memory and it's really unclear on, in the manual, so um, I don't exactly know if I'm supposed to go to Life Side first and then go back after I brought the knight using the clipser or if I'm supposed just to wait till I can be shadow man and go then um I I cuz when I um, when I did go and um, it was life side obviously because I don't have the full Eclipse um, can I go in the cage with the dogman? apparently not I don't see an opening anywhere they don't seem interested in me at all anyway so uh, yeah I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm thinking about this because in my memory when you have the whole Eclipse... Oh, fucking surgeons. I never understand why they crouch like that. Like, it does not make them less likely to get shot. Because uh, the weapons aim automatically. And I don't know. It's weird. 
Is it supposed to be like some some sort of style um, that they have? Oh, I didn't see him down there. Uh, I hope I don't uh, get hit by the syringes. Anyway, there's a hook here. I'm gonna. Yeah, they're not very dangerous. Got it. They're not actually very dangerous. Nothing is in this game. It's, it's, it's not fucking... Oh. You see this? Behind the glass. This huge beast. That's what they call a true form. The surgeons uh, made them kind of like the Frankenstein creature using uh, tens of, of bodies of, you know, the dead ciders that you see in the cage, they're being like a, a, a tortured and then cut into bits and then reformed into these huge uh, monsters. And then the surgeons will put a dark soul inside the monster to make it really, really powerful. That's what they call it, a true form in the game. Um, and actually, there, I don't think there's any glass. Yeah, there is. Um, so I don't understand why my weapon goes. Will and yeah, they they use this thing to. I, I don't remember exactly. Will we see them do it? Probably not. They're just going in circles for now. Okay, but that's interesting. That's some lore for you folks. Uh, another room and the door is here. Oh, come on. Maybe this game would have been a bit better with a bit more challenge. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. Is it too easy? That's a question we can ask ourselves. And. Did I go in inside this room for nothing? Is there nothing here? Except an enemy? Um, yeah. Is this game too easy? I mean, it's not boring at all, because uh, there's so much... Oh, the door is locked. There's so much shit happening. And the aesthetics, the the, the, the music, the design, the story, all, all this is great. Kind of like... Some of my favorite games, actually. A lot of my favorite games have uh, this great design, great music, great story, and um, not very, not very hard to beat. Uh, I'm thinking uh, Ocarina of Time, for example, which is really easy, and it's still um, Half-Life too. I mean, it's. Um, Half-Life 2 is really easy. Half-Life 2 is super easy. But then you get Episode 1 and Episode 2 where they ramp up the difficulty a lot. So you have kind of the, the whole experience. And uh, what I think Half-Life 2... I, I, I think Half-Life 2, Episode 1 and Episode 2 as a single entity. For me, it's one game. It's one big... Oh, those are, those are tanks full of blood, really clear blood. So, uh, did I go through this? Yeah. I didn't go through this door. Okay. It's kind of a maze in the playrooms. Hey, here's another true form. And, uh, yeah, yeah, let's... Well, you see him eat, maybe, uh, through the... Oh. Controller are broken. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so here's another true form. I don't think we will fight the true form anytime soon. Got it. Uh, there's a bunch, and um, of course they all contain a dark soul, I, I think. Or maybe some are not finished yet. So I don't, I don't know what I just did. 
but I pressed the lever and it went from uh, from red to green. I opened this door apparently. Great. Oh, that's lava, isn't it? Yeah. Most likely is. Uh, so I cannot walk on it. Anyway, for just one cadeau. Oh! Surgeon with a operation table. That's a nice touch. Oh come on! Am I? Am I? Half of my shots are missing them. I'm gonna. I'm gonna die because of dead cider. Oh, controller is acting up. That's why I'm having so much difficulty. Okay. Hey, two cadeaus in a row. That's nice. Um, it always bugs me that I cannot get the health in the... You see there's a table here, and uh, I don't know, it's, it looks like um, something a dentist would use, or uh, no, uh, more like um, a gynecologist. See the... I don't know how to say in English, but there's a thing for the feet, for when you spread your legs open. I, I'm, I'm not sure of the... Pronunciation. I think it's gynecologist, but maybe it's gynecologist. And uh, that's it for this part of the level for now. Gotta go at the opposite side. Probably a bit more swimming. So yeah, that's this door is the logical next step. Yeah, that's nice. Maybe I should stop there. For how long have I been filming? half an hour uh, well yeah yeah I'm gonna do like five more minutes and uh, that will be it for today oh I don't have any more magic under the chainsaw guy. Well, if I die, it's not a problem, because the teddy bear was right behind, so it's fine. Nice! Oh, and I get, I'm getting a lot more cadeaus. Maybe I'm getting my next health block soon. I mean, it's only 31, so it's not a lot, but... Uh, if they start... Uh, it's, it feels weird to find them in the asylum. What are Kados doing in the asylum? It makes no sense to me. Oh, and this here's this room I was before. So I went through this door first. And, uh, yeah, with the three guys who shot. So, um... It's less of a maze than I thought, and I've probably done a, a lot of it already. There's this bridge you can. Um, I so I went through all these doors already. Maybe I should. Maybe what I should do is go down, because I'm. Si Maybe it's what I, I said earlier with the, the tanks of clear blood. Yeah. There's probably not a lot to find here. But I saw um, some kind of, I don't know, ledge thing. And here's some magic. I don't know if you noticed, but if uh, your magic meter is depleted and you find a. Uh, oh, someone is shooting at me. I didn't see anyone. <laughs> And you... Okay, how can you get out of the water? Like this, I guess? Apparently not. Maybe I should not have my gun in hand. 
No, it doesn't work. How do I get out? Oh, probably like controller, please connect. Okay, so probably like what the hell? Seriously? Oh, and I'm getting shot again. Oh, here's the. Okay, here's the guy and the ledge. Oh, come on! Let me get out of the water. Blood, thing, and fucking die, please. I mean, he's probably already dead. Or probably he was never alive in the first place. I don't know, these... these the man pigs and the, the man dogs, or pig man and dog man, I, I don't know. These enemies, uh, I'm not sure what they are, what they come from. If they're kind of... Because there, there's this whole Victorian steampunk thing around here. So, um... Well, if there was an enemy alive here, it means I haven't been here already. So it's the right place to uh, go. But yeah, maybe there could be some kind of robots. Some kind of mechanical creatures. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'll try to get into the lore. And uh, see if I can learn more. Uh, before the next video and uh, yeah next time I'll try to explain you I don't know if you are as puzzled as I am or maybe you have the information already and you're like I uh, think I am an idiot oh please don't kill me oh there's another one come on I didn't where oh, okay oh damn it I think it's um they missed they missed an opportunity here. Because if you have these surgeons who shoot needles at you, the, it could be some kind of, of you know anesthetic or uh, they just do damage to to your health. But they could slow you down or something like that. It, it would have been a nice uh, nice touch. I think they they um, yeah they went a bit too simple with uh, the, the surgeon's weapon. I mean, they literally shoot needles at you and they're surgeons and it's, uh, you know, they're, they're making experiences, experiments, excuse me, on the, on the dead siders and all that shit. And it could be, it could really be some, some kind of neurotoxin or, yeah, maybe just an aesthetic that slows you down. I mean, the whole thing as as a, as a, um, the whole surgeons, pigman and dogman, as a very strong BDSM aesthetic, with the the, the chains and and the leather and uh, you know the, this pigman who had these these big um, nipple piercings and and all that and the straps. So uh, yeah, I I know that uh, there's a lot of people in BDSM who use some kind of uh, um, how how is it called? Uh, it, it's something that makes you a bit numb and that slows you down. Uh, it's not it's not to make you unconscious. It's just to make you uh yeah, kind of like a rag doll. I have no idea how it's called, especially in English. Uh, and I cannot access this Dark Soul. Why? Well, usually the answer is because I will be able to access it later. And uh, usually these doors are open by activating levers or... Um, usually it's more the, uh, the key, the engineer's key. So, um, yeah. If it's not now, it will be later. And here's the tunnel where uh, I entered the playrooms from. And here's probably a kettle. No, just magic. Uh, so here's the glass tunnel. And... Um, yes, yeah, still the way the level is, is designed. 
it gives you a real sense of progression. It, it, it has kind of a, a valve quality to it. Like these levels in Half-Life when, when you see uh, a thing where, when you'll be able to, to go later. It's really, this level is really, really well designed. Um, in my opinion. I, I love the way it's designed and the way you, you progress through it. And I'm going in circles. That's weird. Uh, that's on my own though. The, the level design is brilliant. It's just me who has a really, really poor sense of direction. Um, and here we go. So, um, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. So, uh, I'm gonna keep playing for a few minutes. Is, oh, there's some kind of hatch thing. Hello! And uh, yeah, let's go down this tunnel. And try not to die. Probably... I don't know. The camera is not helping. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Just give a little peep. Oh, come on. Hey! Yeah, it just... It boggled the mind. I mean... Uh, oh, I'm getting shot at again. Here, have some help. Uh, so, let's probably die. Wait, he, it's closed? Where, where did I get shot from? Oh, there it is. I'm doing something really stupid. I'm not getting shot. Where are you? Did he fall in the water? It was you, wasn't it? You have some really crappy AI. Sorry to say that. Uh, it's really the um, probably the weakest point of the game. Hey, dog dude. Sorry, I love dogs, but you were gonna hurt me. So I don't know how they hurt you because they have the they have a muzzle, or is it called a muzzler? I mean, you get what I'm saying. The the thing on the on the snout that prevents them from biting. So I don't know how they can hurt you. It's, uh, it's weird. And... Uh, oh, I'm getting lost again, aren't I? Oh! I probably... If I had the poigne, I probably could go up this... bloodfall. I'm just guessing, but it makes sense. Um... And to have the twine, you have to have the flambeau. And to have the flambeau, you have to be level 5. And I am level 5. So, uh, probably my next um, mission in that side would be to get the flambeau. And I I, uh, give, I gave um, a look at the map. And, oh, die, bitch. And here's the Enzymus key. Hold. The keyhole. Uh, so I'm just gonna activate this and uh, quit the game for today. Uh, but yeah, I rem I, I give a, li a look at the, the the map that I told you earlier about in a precedent episode, and I saw that you get the flambeau. It's right between the level three door and the level four door. So um, it's on the way to the Temple of Fire. We are where I get the first gad. So uh, probably next time we'll uh, we'll get there and we will be able to open new doors. And also it's a it's a weapon. And also it's a it's a great weapon. I think it's an upgrade uh, compared to the weapon I have right now. Anyway, that was cool. Thanks for watching and uh, see you really soon, folks. Peace.